Hi guys, Dr. Gillard here. Let's show you the modified Allen's test. So first thing you're going to do is have your patient uh, open and close your fist. Can you open and close your fist a couple times? Keep going. And then squeeze it really tight. Okay. And now you're going to sneak in here. I want to make sure you can see. And you're going to clamp the radial and ulnar artery tightly. Okay, now open your hand up and it's all white looking. So now I'm going to test the ulnar artery by taking the thumb off the ulnar artery and it immediately turned red. Now let's do the Allen's test. So can you do that again for me? So remember the Allen's is a two-part test. So hold it tight, clamp. So you do the, the Allen's test, open again. So part one is just to do the modified Allen's test. Okay, go ahead and one more time, open and close, squeeze hard, clamp again, here's the difference. So open up, now we're going to test the radial, and it fills nicely, it turned nice and, nice and red there. Okay, so that was the Allen's test, two-part test. Now we're going to do, let's see, capillary refill is really easy. So, let's see if I can both come in a little bit. So all you do is squeeze down the finger like that until it turns white. Let it go. You can see how it comes right back in. Okay, great. She's got a little nail polish on this side. Okay, great. So that's capillary. And the last one is Hoffman's test. Hey um, so Hoffman's test for cervical myelopathy, upper motor neuron lesion. We want to watch the thumb right here. And we want to just flick this finger. Let's see, how can I do this without getting... I can do it like this. Okay, so you just flick the thumb. Support the hand. Turn this back like this. You just relax for me. Okay, see the thumb there? All you do is flick. See, I'm flicking with my thumb. I'm supporting it with my index finger and flicking. Hoffman's. There's another way to do it. Some people just flick the entire finger down like that. But you can do it like that as well. And it would be positive if this, every time I flicked, if her thumb reflex, reflex jerked, that would be positive for upper motor neuron lesion, probably cervical myelopathy uh, if she had neck pain. Did I get them all? Uh, let's see, pulses. Those are pretty straightforward, but um, let's, again, to, to correctly do the brachial pulse. So can you make a bicep for me? Can you, you resist for me? Other way? There you go. So I can feel her bicep tendon is right here. So now relax for me, straighten the elbow out, fingers go right here. And if you can't find it, which I can't yet, can you straighten your elbow? That's it. Okay, now relax. And there it is, pounding right there. Okay, don't go like this. Right, there's nothing to trap the brachial artery against. It's better to come down on it right here. If that doesn't work, you can push down really hard, hold, and then slowly release the pressure to feel it squirting. Got it? Radial pulse, simple. Just like that. You can feel that booming. Ulnar is right here. Don't go like that. Even though I know that's the way you're going to do it for CCPs when you're in boards, do what the board books say. Come over like this.